Hi, Laura Quirk from Technique Peak. Um, in previous videos, we had discussed um, the common birthing pattern and seeing a patient who may be in an open birthing pattern. So one of the things that we had discussed was the fact that that left pubic rami may be a little bit more hardened from the fact that the, the way the head was turned and has it, as it went through that birth canal, the back of the head hitting them the inside of that pubic rami. So like I said in the previous video, sometimes that can create some trauma in the bone, creating the bone to be a little bit hardened. Any kind of, any time a bone has any kind of trauma to it, like a fracture or um, impact on it, that bone sometimes will feel a little bit more hard as opposed to that spongy feeling that you may feel on a normal bone. So what you do is you, in supine, you palpate the pubic symphysis, and then you just take your ulnar aspect of your hand and you just apply just a gentle compression, AP towards the table on one side of that pubic bone, feeling for a sense of hardness. You just spring gently, and then you go to the other side and just spring gently. And you may feel, one side feels a little bit more hard than the other. Um, you also will see sometimes a sense of unlevelness. And in her case, you could see that her left pubic bone is a little bit more anterior compared to the right. So she is technically in a little bit more of an anterior position on this left side, and it does feel hard. So to treat that, once you discovered that, you could take the ulnar aspect of your hand and gently just create a downward pressure on that pubic bone. And then the other hand is gonna go onto that patient's ischial tuberosity and you're going to compress your two hands together gently. You don't wanna create any kind of pain. This is a very sensitive area and patients will, will say that it's, um, it is painful if you press too hard. So you just wanna do a gentle compression until you feel a sense of ease. And then eventually what'll happen is that will soften. And then after you're done with your technique, you can go back and reassess and see if there's a little bit more levelness between your thumbs at that pubic symphysis region. The other area you want to address is the pubic rami, which is the bone that connects the pubic symphysis to the ischial tuberosity. So this is the rami right here. So you're going to take the lateral border of your hand again, sorry, and you're going to, this time you're going to be springing more superior towards their head, and you're going to just do a gentle spring upward, and just sense what side feels harder, or even tender for the patient. And then if you discover that one side, which in her case, it is still the left, the treatment technique is pretty much the same as the assessment. You just get inside onto that pubic rami, and instead of the force being anterior posterior, the force is gonna be gently up towards their head. Now, when you're doing this technique, it's very common for the adductor muscles to go into a little bit of a spasm or tightness because they're kind of gripping onto that um, pubic rami there. So as you're doing the technique, you do it as gentle as possible, but if you do start to feel like the adductor muscles are starting to kick in or become tight, you can just gently just go in there and just do a little self-release or just stretch onto those adductor muscles, onto that insertion and just give them a sense of ease after you're done with that technique to calm those muscles down. Laura Quirk from Technique Peak.